some companies are um like allergic to money yeah that's possible <laughs> uh due to their own you know who knows the dinosaur like qualities but uh atlas for example uh one such famous company um has a collection of ips and sega is exploring live action tv and movie adaptations of things like persona and they didn't specifically say smt they said persona but it looks like they're they're considering the live action world seeing as uh sonic the hedgehog moved forward as well so i think that that is a great idea and they should go ahead as fast as possible you know There's a lot of stuff out there that is a terrible idea for adaptation, right? You're not yeah. going to get you're not you're not going to guess where I'm going with this. There's a lot of stuff out there that's terrible for adaptation. However, mm -hmm. you still have a little thing inside your head that's like, but how would it look? I kind of just curious right. what it would how look. Would, like. How would it look? Right? It would be terrible if they committed to it, but what but what would it just look like? And this is where the magic of the Japanese stage play comes in. Do you remember when Phoenix Wright and Persona and Yorha and all these other big game franchises in Japan got stage plays? And they I sure were do. High budget, and they had really cool like screenshots of like the scenes, and then all the actors in costume, and you're like, "Oh fuck, take a look! That's what." Live action Phoenix Wright looks like. Look at Edgeworth. Oh shit! It's, right. Uh, and it's a trip. That article with the picture of all the actors—that's what you want. <laughs> you don't want Persona live action TV show. What you want is to look at those pictures of the characters in costume for the stage. Oh wow, they play. really look like them. That's a, that's an Akihiko right there. Wow, look at Mitsuru. Oh, wow. They nailed it. And that's it. You might think you want more, but I promise you don't. <laughs> so this is where the play should step in and just give this, the franchise a little, a little release for that curiosity and then go ahead and just not make it. That'd be great. Your alternative. I want them to make it. I actively want them to make it. Okay, full on. Yeah. CW style persona yeah. drama. And I want it to take place in America. Yeah, CW. Yeah. Okay. And you're watching the relationships like yeah. build, but like every once in a while a UI appears over the screen to tell you like that the relationship yeah. leveled up and the arcana pops Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. I want I want oh God. And just a bunch of, like, actors from, like, the Arrowverse can just show up. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Per perfect. There we go. Okay. God. Now, how do, how, do, how do personas work? Because remember, in... They're just a gun. Oh, okay. Evokers are just guns. Yeah. They're like, they pull out my evoker and then they put it at their head... And then energy goes from their head into the gun, and then mm -hmm. they just shoot the gun. Okay, okay. Because have you heard of The Spake Kishibi Rohan? I have heard of it. So there's the anime series, but there's a live-action Rohan series that's in Japan that's airing. I think there's a, a at least a second season or so. And it's a live-action JoJo Rohan series. Just like the movies, you know. And there's no stands. Oh, good. Yeah. Why would why would there? Well, because we're not stand users. He just has the ability Heaven's Door, but there's no stands in the actual thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, we <laughs> wouldn't be able to see it. We're not stand users. So yeah, it's it's kind of made so that if you're a JoJo fan, you'll watch it and you'll see what's going on. 
but like my understanding is they also want it to just make sense that if you're just like a Japanese housewife that's trying to watch TV and you want to see a spooky mystery, like he, you can still enjoy it without thinking about what that little kid with the hat that's half transparent is. So Heaven's Door is just his ability, but there's no stands involved in the process, you know? Yeah. Yeah, totally. All right. Fair enough, as long as we're on the same page. Aaron, we got to get away from the Titans and that we don't have budget for horses. So hop in this car. <laughs> or this helicopter. CW Persona. It's good. It's great. I want that. And you get... Oh. And you're just you're not gonna get out of season one without your main protagonist uh, having at least one of those scenes where you know the Kira cry, you know the ah, oh yeah, okay. oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that is actually a thing that exists in a lot of or in in a bunch of live action stuff I've seen <laughs> that has like these just. These moments of main character freak out, and you're gonna have yeah. your P4, you're gonna have Yuna Rukami having an ah, 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 moment. <laughs> yeah, you will, yeah. Before the credits roll. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay, all right. Just that is what it. I want. Okay, all right. Cool, cool, okay. Like, Halo wasn't bad enough. Halo should have been much worse. So, so. I just, I'm like, I'm mashing together a bunch of, like, like moments where things have to get really dramatic in live action in... You know, like whether it's like like any it, it's they, it'll happen in like a Kamen Rider series. It'll happen in like a GTO, or uh, um, in some of the movies that like I catch its fanchase or sometimes where just you're doing anime things, but it's in real life. <laughs> so like, it starts raining, and then like two characters are turning away from each other while they're talking, and it's and it's like it's just uh, anyway. All right. All right. All right. The world always needs more cringe, Wooly. Commit all the way to it. Gotcha. 100%.